Hello everyone, this is Tamir Selvi. I'm from South India, Bangalore City. This video is for beginners who are willing to know how to start up with mobile video editing. So today we'll be seeing how to edit slow motion videos. This is going to be all about the basics of how and where to start off with editing in your phone. So since it is quarantine and I haven't taken my bike outside for a long time, I just thought let me give it a wash. Every time I wash my bike, I really admire the little details in my bike. I am basically a bike obsessed person. My bike is a two-stroke, it's a Suzuki Samurai and the bike is as old as I am. Alright, now stop guessing my age, I'm a 97 born. So let's get into the editing. So this is the bunch of footages I have for editing and let's start off with the first footage. Uh, this is how the raw footage look like. It's uh, just an intro of a number plate. Yes, Pondicherry. I was born in Pondicherry. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if every phone has this option, but most of the phones that has the capability of shooting slow motion videos has an edit option when you open the video in your gallery. So when you get into the edit option, you, you get this kind of a bar where you can adjust from where to where you need it to be in slow motion and the rest will be you know playing in the normal speed so i'm just gonna see and adjust how much i want and where exactly i want it to slow down and from where to where it, it, it's gotta be fast so once i'm done i'm just saving this up and that's gonna take a couple of minutes so you have this edited footage and also your original footage is retained so yeah, now I'm going to edit all the necessary footages that I want for my editing. I've already told you guys about InShot in one of my previous videos. I use InShot to edit most of my videos. InShot has a very basic user interface, so it is easy to use for any one of you. I don't really have to teach you guys like where to go and trim, where to go and add music or filters. You, you just have everything in your fingertips. So let's get into InShot and create a new project. And here are the bunch of footages that we've edited and it also has some original footages. It's just in the sequence. I am going to start up with my first footage. So this is it. Good. So I'm just going to keep adding all the footages that I want. Whenever you're adding footages as a sequence, whenever you're merging, you must have an idea on how you want your video to look like what clip is going to be in the first, what clip is going to be in the second and what third. Because it's all about how you are going to carry your video throughout the sequence. You cannot really place the fruit of a video in the beginning and then just let the rest of the video be boring. You will have to understand and work on how you are going to grab the attention of the person whoever is watching your video. Okay, so I'm just done with arranging all my footages in InShot. So let's get into the color grading part. There are a few filters that are available in InShot and this is one of my favorite filters. So I'm going to put this on. But I'm also a person that doesn't like too much of saturation. So I'm going to get into the adjust panel and reduce some saturation. And I'm also going to try giving some fade and reduce some shadows. And here are the highlights and shadows. I'm giving a blue tone to the shadows and a yellow tone to the highlights. I'm also increasing the tint towards a pinkish kind of a tone so here is so here is what it is in short also has an fx panel which got a bunch of fx which is going to make your video look more creative so here it is i uh, like this noisy effect so i'm giving it over here i've given this kind of a tone and effect for rest of the footages and this is how it goes cool not bad just like how I told you, it is very important how you are going to place your video. Music plays a major, major role in video. Some people prefer music, some people prefer sound effects, some people prefer it combined. Just make sure your music and your video merge and blend very well. Make sure every footage or every content of yours is going to be on beat. You cannot be really accurate about that in mobile editing, but we can try our best. And that's it. I'm done with the editing. Viola, here's the output. 